So let's see how learning rates work in predicting how long it's going to take you to make units as you get more experience. We have a learning curve formula. You don't have to memorize it. I'll give it to you and ask questions about your comprehension of it rather than your recall of the formula. But the formula, the Y is how long it'll take for the next unit or the target unit. If you want to know after 60 units, how long will it take? And that's what they, so 60 would be the most recent unit. A is how long it takes to make the first unit, which they have to give you. And then um, X, it steps up one unit, two units, three units, four units, and so forth. What unit are you on? And then the learning rate is the log of the learning rate over the log of two. So we're not going to do proof of that. You just have to believe it in this class. So what is the learning rate? The learning rate takes the, the time to make the later unit divided by the time for the earlier unit. So in this case, it will be 64.8 divided by 72. That's expressed as a percent. So we're now at things. My format is goofy. So the table. The first unit is 72 that gave us that. It's the first unit. And then the log of the learning rate is the log of that 90% and the log of 2. Excel knows how to do that. LN is the log function. And then the formula says take A times X divided by the numerator being the log of the learning rate, the denominator being the log of 2. And you get this. So let's do one together and just see. The time it takes for the first unit is the same on all the table. This is now the second unit. The log of 90% and the log of 2 don't change. But the formula will change because now one of the ingredients is 2. So we're going to drag. Notice that this maps back to our data, so that's good. And then if you highlight both of those, make it down, what do we want? We want 16 minutes. Two more. So they're asking for this cell right here. What is the time needed for estimated time if this is a perfect logarithmic function with a 90% learning rate? How long will it take to make the 16th unit? So let's try another one because this is not something you've seen before probably. And freeze the frame here and work it if you want to work it first and then come back and see if what you did matches. So the first unit they tell us takes 120 minutes. That's the first unit. And then the log of the learning rate. What's the learning rate? So the learning rate is the 84 divided by the 120. So now I want the log of it, so equal LN, and then that number, there we go, and then log of 2, the log LN, which Excel knows means natural logarithm of the number. Okay, so the formula is A times X to the power of, so that's for me uppercase 6 the power of, and then I open parentheses, this is my numerator, divided by this is my denominator, close parentheses. All right, let's do the next line. It's still 120 to make the first unit. I'm on the second unit now. The log of 70% to make that, so we'll give me relative reference, and the log of 2 is the same. And then my formula, I can just drag it down. Will this better match? And it does. Okay, good. So then I can highlight both of those. And it wants 25 minutes. I think it's far, far down. But I have to go a little bit further. So it's looking for that number there. And let's just graph this to get an idea of what it's doing. So you can sort of see that this is a steep learning curve. Some learning curves are not as steep. This is very steep. And then it kind of flattens out. So that's helpful in terms of planning for labor or planning for capacity. How long will it take you once you've done so many units? And so uh, 
that's when it's useful to do this in the budgeting, forecasting, and planning for labor. And the machines don't usually have a learning curve, but the people managing the machines might. So, anyway, if you have questions, let me know.